Hey guys, welcome to the video. And today we are talking about evolving skies and what is happening with it. It has had some incredible growth just in the last month. It's boomed to ridiculous highs. And I kind of want to cover that in the video and talk about evolving skies. Where is the future for this product? I mean, it is such a, it is a great set. Obviously it's such an iconic set from a great era. But what's happening with it is kind of wild at the moment. I want to really kind of deep dive into that. But um, yeah, guys, if you are new here, this is kind of a new channel where we discuss Pokemon collecting, Pokemon investing, and just chats around trading cards and collectibles. If that is the kind of topics you enjoy, feel free to subscribe. I'd honestly love to have you on board the channel and also feel free to comment and make some discussion points. Guys, the reason why this video came about was because I just saw recently on the US eBay that Evolving Skies just sold for over $700, which to me is absolutely mind boggling. First off, that you could have picked this up back in 2021 for $100 or maybe 110 US. The fact that we're now sitting at $700 per box with not even three years after the set is incredible growth. That is something that I think is unheard of. It is growing like exponentially and it is not slowing down. So I want to kind of go into that. Check this out, guys. I'm on, a, I'm on TCG player right now. Check this out in the last month from $482 it has gone to 607 and it's even gone more. That's not even accurate anymore because it's kind of just bumped up all the way to like $700 at the moment. Guys, I'm going to open this up and I want to take the six month timeline. Look at what's happened. I mean, Evolving Skies was just holding, holding, holding. And right here from December, this thing is booming and it's not that surprising when you take into consideration the point of where Evolving Skies came in and how it came in as a set. One thing I want to talk about Evolving Skies is and what people I think still don't understand is that Evolving Skies was literally the second boom for Pokemon. When Pokemon released in the 90s, that was its original boom. Now it did have, and I go, go over this in other videos, but it did have this point where when Pokemon Go released and Evolutions, the interest for the Pokemon hobby did go again and it increased a lot, but nothing like when Evolving Skies came out. Evolving Skies is almost on the level of base set in terms of how impactful it was for the trading card community. It's still not at the level of the original base set, obviously, but in terms of what it did for card collecting and trading cards as a whole, it was a significant impact. It was literally, it broke the stratosphere, man. When Umbreon came out to the scene, that card is known in every community of collectors. From Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! People in other forms know of that Umbreon card. Before that, you know, we didn't have Pokemon really dipping into so many different areas with their cards until this Umbreon. This Umbreon really shattered what collecting means for so many people. And right now, I am not surprised at all that Evolving Skies is growing. It, the, the limit for this booster box, you know, I don't think we know it yet. Don't forget the pull rates are super difficult. This is one of those sets, even me, man, like this is this would be a hard set to keep sealed just because, man, you, there's value in this pack. It's not like one or two cards. There's something like 18 alt arts or something like that in Evolving Skies. You can pull those. You can make some serious, you know, wins if you obviously pulled it. What's been interesting with this, check it out. Umbreon's also had a bit of a rise. I mean, it was sitting at that 530 to a 540 mark for a while. And look at this, just in the, I'm gonna just put that time frame in the last month. Look what's happened with Umbreon. From 550, it's pretty much gone up 50 US just in the last month. So some real interesting things are happening within the hobby at the moment. Where I think Evolving Skies will go, I think the best way to just look at, the only way we can really look at sets is because we can't look at the future because we don't know what can happen, but we can look at previous sets. And I think Team Up, is a good example of where a booster box can go in the highs. But check this out. Look at this right now. It's listed for 2000 US per booster box. That's unreal. That is crazy money, man. That is expensive, very expensive booster box. But check this out on the year. Just one year ago, you could have picked this up for $1,080. That is pretty much a double increase in one year. So if Team Up can do this, 
what is the possibilities for evolving skies? And this is the interesting thing. No one wants to go in and evolving skies, but the thing is that the threshold for how high it can go hasn't, I don't think has even been met yet. Considering when you look at previous sets and they've already surpassed that threshold, they've already made new heights. What makes Evolving Skies so unique in this scenario is that I don't think Team Up had any sort of impact like Evolving Skies for collecting as a whole. Team Up was enormous within the Pokemon community. Evolving Skies was enormous within Pokemon, but it also spilled over to other trading cards and collectibles and people know of it. I have a friend, he is a massive, massive sports card collector. He asked me, I was talking about my, one of my favorite Umbreon cards, which is obviously the Umbreon VMAX. And he said to me, oh, the Umbreon with the moon in the background. Yeah, yeah, I know that card. A sports card collector somehow has figured out a poke. He, he's not a Pokemon fan at all. That's the kind of impact Evolving Skies had within trading cards as a whole. I am not surprised at this rise, and I would not be surprised at all if Evolving Skies even goes higher and even surpasses Team Up, you know, within the very, very long run. I'm talking over 15, 20 years. It's just a very loved set. It is so well known. Kids and everyone and people that were collecting back then, when they grow up, they're gonna look at Evolving Skies. It's gonna be that like set that you look up to that you remember that came out during the COVID boom. It came out kind of in one of the most difficult times in the world, in the world, which was in the middle of COVID, which, you know, in recent history, it was a difficult time. So it was a very interesting time frame for it to be released. And, you know, of course it had everyone's favorite cards, which was the Eevee Evolutions and, you know, Rayquaza and all that as well. Guys, where I really think is where can Evolving Skies go? I, I don't have the answers and I'm not, like, you know, can it go down? It's very unlikely to go down at this point. I think it's now too far in. I think reprint territory, I think everyone's kind of established reprints are completely gone. Last year, people were wondering if reprints were gonna happen. Silver Tempest and Lost Origin got the reprint. Long Skies, nothing happened. The Walmart restock happened, what was it, last year? Now it's just getting rarer, 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 and harder and harder to find. It really is now becoming a rare booster box. It's becoming more unlikely that this is gonna have any sort of crash or dip. And I think this is gonna reach some really interesting highs. Another thing to think of is that with Evolving Skies, because it's not like, for example, a if, if I had a Rebel Clash booster box, right, in front of me, there's nothing that motivates me to open that. I know Rebel Clash is far better off left sealed. Like, I know that. Like, there's nothing even tempting about Rebel Clash to open. It's like, cool, I've got this sealed, I'm gonna keep it sealed. With Evolving Skies, and I think, and same with Team Up, I think this is the problem that these booster boxes face, is that you know the kind of value of some of the cards inside are so high that you are always tempted to open it. So I think the sealed product is just gonna have a very, very hard time remaining sealed. And I speak about this in another video, the um, seven Pokemon investing mistakes that you don't wanna make, where in sealed, the pie always gets smaller, smaller, and smaller. As years go on, sealed just goes down, 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 down. You have singles, singles go up. The more products open, the more products enter the market. We can see this. I mean, I made a video, what was it, two months ago that Evolving Skies, the Umbreon had 9,000 something PSA pop report. It's already over 10,000 right now. The singles are coming onto the market. In terms of Evolving Skies and where it's going, we are in a very, very interesting time for where what is gonna happen with it. And I think it's gonna be one to look out for. But at the same time, like it is a very, uh, uh, you know, you need a lot of money to now have some skin in the game. And this is why it is important when you're doing Pokemon investing is try get on sets before this happens. Because it's, man, come on, it is hard now saying, hey, I'm gonna put 700 US dollars down to buy one booster box when you know if you were, you know, investing and you were doing it early, you could have got, th how many? You could have got seven of those or six of those for that price. But now, because you know, you've know you waited and you know, this is the problem I think it as well. A lot of people always have their doubts and you know, I see this everywhere. It happens, it's too often, it's too much of a common thing. Oh, sets won't rise, sets won't rise, sets won't rise. And then they do and then everyone starts having belief in the set now that it's rising because you've got the social proof. But really, you know, if you are investing in collectibles, you need to have that forefront and you need to think ahead and you don't need to always just have the social proof before it happens. You need to have some faith in the purchases you buy. 
So that is a really important decision. Again, though, if you are buying booster boxes, make sure you enjoy the product as well. Do not just buy it for the sake of, oh, it's gonna be a good investment. Make sure you love the product you buy. I'm super big on that. This is a hobby over an investment. Love what you buy. Because if you buy a Battle Styles booster box, which I think, you know, I'm not a fan of Battle Styles, but if you love Battle Styles and it never went up, at least in 10 years, you could open it up and you could experience and have a real good, enjoyable time with it. So it's a win-win. But if you buy Battle Styles because you think it's gonna go up, but you actually hate the set, you're not gonna enjoy opening it in 10 years. So make sure you love what you buy. But you know, I'm really interested as well in your thoughts, guys, where you think Evolving Skies is gonna go. You know, it's an obviously an interesting time for the hobby and interesting to see, you know, where this set can go. But guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. I'd love to have you on board the channel. Click that subscribe, like the video, and yeah, feel free to let me know of what other kind of content you would like me to make. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.